The Chicago Bears sent a fifth round pick for Ryan Bates, who, in my opinion, is a pretty solid football player. Uh, Ryan Bates has the ability to, to play every single one of the five positions on the offensive line. In college specifically, he was a starting left tackle for Penn State. Coming into his rookie season with the Bills, he also continued to play that same exact position, the left tackle position. He ended up playing one full game as a starting left tackle. And it didn't work out for him at the left tackle position. Ultimately ended up getting moved to guard. Also played a little bit of center. And in his most recent season, what you're looking at right here is the preseason tape of the 2023 NFL season. Ryan Bates became a full-time center, specifically backup center, of course, for the Buffalo Bills. And the guy looked pretty damn good. I mean, to do what he just did right here on tape to Andrew Billings is pretty damn impressive. But this is kind of what you can expect out of Bates. He's a tough, physical football player. And he has massive upside. And I see why Ryan Poles actually went out and traded for him. Today, we're going to analyze his tape. Let's just get right into the tape. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the Bates tape. Now, one of the things I should state right away is I don't know if Ryan Bates is going to be the starting center for the Chicago Bears as we go forward. But I do know that this guy looks very good on tape, right? I've watched all of his preseason snaps from this past season. I've also watched some of his guard snaps that... He did play in over last season, which keep in mind, he started pretty much every game at guard last season, and he looks pretty good. You can definitely see that this guy's a smart football player. He understands blocking angles. He understands how to position his body. This is a good example of, of just that. So you see that it's a screen pass over here to the right of your screen. At the same time, he also understands where he needs to position his body in terms of making sure that number 97 here cannot chase this from the backside, right? He makes sure to position himself in a way that he basically walls off Billings. So it's a good, smart play right there. It's a good, effective block. Uh, but I also want to state that, you know, I don't know 100% if Ryan Bates is, is the answer at center. Yes, he's a good football player, but he hasn't played a full 17-game season. So on one end, we don't know if this guy can actually stay healthy. We don't know if this guy's going to be able to actually have success for 17 straight games. And then on the other end, how's he like when it comes to the protection calls and those type of things? Right. If you ultimately take either Caleb Williams or you stick with Justin Fields, will those quarterbacks be comfortable with the guy who really hasn't played a ton of center? Like, does this guy know exactly what he needs to do in terms of all the calls that oftentimes centers have to make? So that is one of the missing pieces, in my opinion, that we'll have to really figure out with Bates. Now, of course, with that being stated, the tape doesn't lie, right? You can watch Bates and you just see so many good snaps on tape, play after play after play. The guy is solid. He's as solid as it gets. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He can pretty much win the one-on-ones. Now, this play here, I want to go ahead and get into a little bit. It's, it's kind of interesting because one of the things I think with Bates is, from a technique standpoint, you can definitely tell he's not very fluid and he's not very comfortable. You can tell right here with his footwork and kind of how he attacks. This is a duo concept here. And you can see that on the double team, although he does do a good job making sure that the left guard gets the help he needs, uh, from a footwork perspective, he's trying to gallop as a center into this defensive tackle, and it, it just doesn't really look all that pretty. And of course, it's just going to happen, right? He he isn't a guy that's played center that long. But from the actual block of it, it's a pretty good block. He makes sure to push out the two-technique defensive tackle. He makes sure to allow the left guard to be able to turn that, and then he does get up to the linebacker, which is exactly what he's expected to do on the six-yard run. So although that's a pretty good job right there, he does have some struggles when it comes to run blocking. And I don't think it's that he can't do it. I think it's more so of being a center and doing it from the center position specifically. Uh, here's another play where it just doesn't look good. You can see both the left guard and center end up getting split by the long three technique. Uh, and on this one here, you're going to see that the inside linebacker is going to basically go free. Third and three and the play only picked up one yard. Right, so I think you get two guys stuck on one, and I think a part of that is because of the technique, the angle that the center ultimately takes, the left guard steps out, and the defensive lineman you can see kind of splits to the inside. That that shouldn't happen. Right, the center here Bates should make a nice hit on this defensive lineman, maybe push him outwards, or they should be able to swap it, and then seventy one gets out in front, seventy six here climbs up to the linebacker, and the running back ultimately hits it. But one of those guys should have gotten up to number fifty. And they don't, and number 50 is going to basically make the play. Third and three, only picks up about a yard. So uh, to me, you got to do a little bit of a better job on that one. There's one more run play here. The play does pick up 11 yards, as you guys are going to see. Uh, the center here does have a pretty good angle on the linebacker, but he just doesn't do a good enough sticking to the linebacker. 
Uh, so you'll see him here reach up to number 55. And he does a good job initially setting himself up to the inside. All right? It's a good job with the angle. But you should not allow 55 to get over the top on that one. All right? you got to be able to set yourself up in a way where you shut 55 down. You get out in front of this guy, you stop him right there, and that's going to give the running back more lane to be able to possibly bend it over here to the left as the safeties kind of come downhill here. So you just got to do a little bit of a better job when it comes to actually being able to uh, stop the linebackers, be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but I do think that Ryan Bates does show a lot of upside. Can he be the starting center? Well, I think if the Bears do draft a rookie in this upcoming draft, I think Bates could be a starting center for maybe a year or two. Maybe he can help a rookie develop. Or if you don't want to spend a premium pick on, let's say, Jackson Powers Johnson, who, by the way, I do think is going to ultimately end up being a top 20 pick in this upcoming class, maybe you wait a year to draft your center. Or maybe you take that center and Bates just ends up being a really good backup center, a backup guard possibly a backup tackle maybe it's just depth at the end of the day ultimately i think for a fifth round pick ryan bates is a really really good football player and i think it's a good trade for the chicago bears right he is a smart football player and you see that right away on tape and he's not one of those guys that's super old he's relatively young still he's only spent a couple seasons in the nfl he has a long nfl career in front of him and chances are he will be better as we kind of go forward now uh, we're going to watch some of this guy's tape at guard. We've only watched his tape at center so far. Uh, but one of the things I want to just point out is the guy does a great job in pass pro, right? That is easily his best ability right now. Uh, and one of the things he does is he does use independent hands. He's not oftentimes leading into guys. And I want to show you guys this other rep here, which came from the Bears game. That really impressed me. So as soon as Bates is going to snap the football here, he's going to get the left hand right into Andrew Billings. And then watch him just use the independent hands. All right, so the left hand lands first, then the right hand. And keep in mind, the left hand was off of Billings at that moment. And he's not leaning into it. So if Billings isn't going to pass rush as he kind of stops at the end of this, Bates is basically going to just wait and wait for the contact to kind of come back to him. And in this instance, number 93 here, who ends up beating the right guard, ends up running right into Bates. All right, so that's a good job right there. It's a smart thing to do especially if you want to be one of the better guys, right? I think using independent hands is a key part of being an offensive lineman. All right, you guys, I want to go ahead and switch focus at this point, and I want to get into some of Ryan Bates' guard snaps specifically. I think this guy had a really, really good season at guard in 2022. Now, he was a little inconsistent, but you saw a lot of snaps like this on tape. You know, he has a big frame. He's 6'4", he's 315 pounds, and he's going to continue to get stronger. He's going to continue to get faster. He's going to get used to the game speed. But this is very, very impressive to watch. He's going to get physical with Christian Wilkins, one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. And look at him and Mitch Morris, the center, on this rep here. Just straight up put Christian Wilkins into the ground. Look at that. That right there is what I want to see from my starting guard. You get another one here. Once again, he's going to put down Christian Wilkins. Uh, this one, he's he's trying to turn Wilkins, but he's not able to fully do it. And that's okay. Wilkins is a top five to seven defensive tackle in the NFL. But he does stay with it, and he is physical. And this play still picks up nine yards. This is a really, really nice job right there. You got another really nice block here. The D tackle is going to slant and watch Bates catch him and absolutely crush him. And this one right here is going to pop for a 33-yard touchdown. And Bates is a big part of that. So this is a great job right there. Uh, this is obviously at center as opposed to guard, but I did just see the play right now. So I wanted to just kind of show it to you guys. A pretty good block right there. A very, very smart football player, as I mentioned, understands different things, is able to climb, is able to double, is able to read and process during the actual live play. Uh, and this is kind of what you're going to expect from Ryan Bates. All right, you guys, check this next rep out. I think this is the play that Ryan Poles watched right here. And I think this is the one play that sold him on Ryan Bates. Uh, this cutoff block, the angle he takes here, how quickly he's out of his stance is freaking impressive. To me, that's a really, really nice play by the right guard in this instance. This is just a very, very, very impressive reach. And it's so fast. I'm going to slow it down here. But just look at that wide angle, man. To me, this is beautiful. To be able to cut off a front side linebacker, keep in mind that the linebacker is shaded over the right tackle. He's not shaded over the guard. And the fact that the guard is able to kind of you know, get out of his stance, kind of get out in front, uh, he at least holds the block as much as he can. That's a hard block to make. And, and you see him 
be able to, to, to get there. And you see he flips the hips too. All right. So at the end of this, not only does he get there, uh, as you'll see here, but he's going to flip the hips. That right there is one of the most impressive blocks you'll see on tape. And I think this is the type of plays that Ryan Poles actually watched this guy make. And it actually sold him on this kid. All right, guys, here's another one. This time, Bates is going to be playing center. But once again, look at the reach block. Look at the angle. Look at how far he has to reach out in front. Uh, and he makes the block, right? That's impressive as hell. I'm telling you guys, that is very, very difficult to do. This guy's fast. He's quick. And he's 6'4", 320. He's not 6'1", 280. This guy's a 6'4", center. That is crazy right there. Overall, I feel like Bates' tape, especially at guard, is very, very impressive. Uh, the guy has so many high-quality reps where he's double-teaming, climbing. He's doing everything you want to see out of your starting guard. Uh, and some people will say, is it possible that he ultimately ends up replacing Nate Davis? Uh, never say never, right? Never say never about him replacing Davis. Now, I personally think Davis is a really good football player. I think he's had some health concerns, and I think that right there has kind of hindered him a little bit this season. But, you know, watching Davis when he came from the Titans over to the Bears, the guy was one of the best guards in the NFL while he's with the Titans. And that's the primary reason he got a three-year, $30 million contract. He became one of the highest paid guards for a reason, right? Ryan Poles isn't handing those contracts out for, for free. And I know a lot of Bears fans didn't like Nate Davis this past season, but the guy's a good football player. And I'd actually be surprised if Ryan Bates was the Nate Davis replacement. I think it's a more likely chance that Ryan Bates is being brought in as a center because the upside for him as a center is there. So you can see this guy's tape at guard and you can see how dominant of a guard he is. He knows in terms of positioning. He knows in terms of how to win. Uh, the guy knows what he's doing. And the thing is, is as a center, this guy's really only done it for a season. So imagine what he's going to look like as a center in a couple of seasons, right? One or two seasons. Like, is he going to be the type of guy that could he end up developing possibly, right? Could he develop into a top 10 center? I think there's a real chance this guy could become a really good football player. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like what Ryan Bates has shown on tape. I'm excited to see what the Bears O-line ends up looking looking like as we kind of go into the season. Uh, very, very excited for it. We'll continue to cover the Bears. We'll continue to cover some of the free agent signings as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time with another video.